Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. We are back today with the latest edition of Twitter Quick Hits. The latest Oilers news and rumors from around the Twitterverse. I was looking to add some structure and turn this into more of a show for you guys, so I'll be breaking Twitter Quick Hits into segments starting today. Let's kick things off with the big hit. Appearing on Oilers Now with Bob Stoffer. Sportsnet's Mark Spector reports that the Oilers have worked out three, four, and five-year deals with Adam Larson, none of which have been agreed to as of yet. As has been reported, everything is in a holding pattern while Larson decides what he wants to do. Spector believes that Adam Larson will ultimately re-sign in Edmonton. He also believes that if Larson decides to leave, he will be replaced by a lower-ticket player, not a big name. He also states that Adam Larson and Tyson Berry won't both be back. It will either be one or the other. Spectre and Stauffer both believe Jujar Kara will be the player selected from Edmonton at the expansion draft. Stauffer lists Curtis Gabriel of the San Jose Sharks as a player the Oilers could target for the fourth line to bring some toughness. He's 6'4", 200 pounds, but definitely not an offensive player. We move on to Around the Verse. Rick Dollywall of The Athletic believes that the Vancouver Canucks have interest in Adam Larson if he reaches the market. Alan Mitchell, aka Low Tide, posted an article on why he thinks Dominic Cahoon will be Seattle's choice at the expansion draft. You can check out the full article at The Athletic, but Low Tide believes that Cahoon would be ultimately be the most useful player to the Kraken and can play up and down their lineup. Some Oilers fans and pundits want the Oilers to target free agent winger Jaden Schwartz. Elliot Freeman stated on his 31 Thoughts podcast to not be surprised if he's Seattle's selection from St. Louis, which would eliminate him from Oilers contention. Freeman also mentioned the New York Rangers have shown an interest in Oilers target Zach Hyman. Darren Greger reported on Insider Trading tonight that the Seattle Kraken have reached out to Adam Larson's agent and talks have begun. So we'll have to see where that goes. And lastly, the Edmonton Oilers have released their preseason schedule. They will open September 26th against Calgary, face the Seattle Kraken on September 28th, Winnipeg Jets on September 29th, Seattle Kraken again on October 1st, playing in Everett, Washington. On October 2nd, they'll play the Winnipeg Jets. October 4th, the Calgary Flames and October 7th and October 9th will take on the Vancouver Canucks. The regular season schedule will be released on Thursday. This brings us to the final word. The wait is almost over. The Seattle Kraken will unveil their selections tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain. You can watch it on Sportsnet. Trades, signings, and other roster moves can resume on Thursday, July 22nd after 1 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Mountain. Who do you guys think the Seattle Kraken will claim from the Oilers? Sound off in the comments below. I'll be back tomorrow with a video on Seattle selection from the Oilers. Enjoying the videos? Please like and subscribe for all the latest Oilers content. You've been listening to The Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.